Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 147. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the Class F Super Lap Days. Uh, we have finished off with Fujimi Kaido Class F Series. Um, and we're now going to go on to the actual full thing. So we're starting off with Rally D Positano. Positano? Basically the Amalfi Coast, but the really, really long version of it. Um, I can't even see where Amalfi is, like the main part of Amalfi Coast. I think it's that bit in the middle there. But, yeah. And then we got the Fujimi Kaido full track and then Nurburgring Nord Cypher. Let's get going. Hi. Hey, yeah. You coming in here to chill? Go on then, jump up on the bed. <laughs> oh Jesus, I've already crashed. Well, we've had a great start here. The dog has decided to hop onto the bed. Just stormed in through my room. Very nice, very polite of them. Um, so yeah, this is Amalfi Coast, but the full version. And it's actually quite a nice circuit. Um, which, again, is kind of a shame why this... I, I'm not sure if this is in Motorsport 4 or not. Um, I believe Amalfi Coast survived for Motorsport 4, but it, it, it was caught up in the massive purge going from uh, Motorsport 4 to 5. So a lot of the stuff got deleted between the games. So when do I get to see some drifting? Uh, no drifting today, unfortunately. This Alpha will not drift. And to be fair, a lot of the cars that we're going to end up driving today won't drift. Because uh, today is all just slower cars. We've got slower slower races. Oh, we're on the full uh, Amalfi circuit now. I believe. Yeah, this is the full circuit. Like the Amalfi Coast circuit. Which is like right in the middle of the, of the track. And then the full circuit goes off towards that way, but we're not going that way. We're going up into the mountains. Very nice, good start. This flows so nicely. I really wish that this track didn't get axed for the rest of the Forza games, to be fair, because this is a beautiful circuit. This is on par with Fujimi Kaido as well. That is a beautiful circuit as well. This is just stunning, though. The variety that you see as you're driving... Sure, the city sections are a little bit difficult. This part is is an awesome spot because there's all these overhangs on the road, so you end up actually going beneath the roads above. Hmm. 
could you be down for me? Yeah. So yeah, we got another um, 20 episodes for this section. The amount of videos is unreal. Probably needs to shift down, that would be ideal. Oh, this bit's another cool section because it goes all the way down here towards the end of the track and then you basically just go through the middle bit again like it, the way that this track is laid out it's such a weird and wonky but wonderful layout at the same time like this this is one of those circuits that i think should make a return for the next motorsport And they need to do more of these. <laughs> more of these longer ones. Uh, this is now us back on the... Okay, not quite. After this next corner, though, we'll be back on the main circuit again. Yeah, there we go. We're back onto the main bit for the Amalfi Coast circuit. But then it takes you down there for Amalfi Coast and then you're gone again. So really, I, compared to the Amalfi Coast circuit, the full, like... Well, not the full one, but like the um, original Amalfi Coast. Um, there's not a lot of similarities, actually. It's like that road that goes along the sea, but... Hey! <laughs> All of those chat messages came through at the exact same time. That's brilliant. Listen to it. The mech is a knob. Cheers. Appreciate it. Whoa, aim for the better life. Get back here, you knob cheese. -hoo -hoo. There's airtime in this, even in an F class car. Yeah, I gather that. Here we go. Here's another bit that matches up, and that straight bit would have taken us back round. Oh, it's close. Come on, little Alpha. Come on. There you go. So, um, it does look like this is going to be quite a short um, video. It could be a possibility that I just add these. Uh, nah, we'll make 20 videos out of it. I don't know. I haven't worked it out yet. Let's move to the next one. You know what I find really funny, right? I I find whenever someone says sounds like a skill issue to something that clearly isn't a skill issue, it is irritating. It's funny when someone else does it, but I get why it's so irritating. Because you can't argue when someone says sounds like a skill issue, because you're like, well, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's a skill issue. No, it's not. But... It, but... <laughs> and, and you just end up, like, freezing and, like, there's nothing I can do. I hear skill issue too many times when I'm in an Xbox party with Tom and Scott.
Doom. No, being you is a skill issue. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. <coughs> My car to a cop car the other day. <laughs> he can't drive. <laughs> Cut out, you realize that this is an arcade racing game, right? It's not a simulator. It it's a simcade. God, I would quite happily 1v1 you on a project cars and whoop your ass. <laughs> Except I wouldn't, because I'm not a professional racer, I don't race. <laughs> Shit ton. Well, anyway. This is actually quite a nice track. Have you got um, content manager yet, Rack? Because you need to get content manager if you're thinking about modding a set of cool stuff. Um, because out of all of the like mod accessories or mod applications, content manager is the best. Uh, have a look into it. You have to... There is a free option, but it's worth paying the £8, whatever it was to get the full version of Content Manager. Um, but it allows you to like have custom servers and shit like that. It's pretty cool. Whoop. Top of the morning to your laddies. Right, they are catching up a little bit, but we're going up the hill. Jesus Christ. One forty P twenty frames it's fine. Well yeah, but that's like Nothing <laughs> in terms of bitrate. That bitrate is probably like a hundred kilobits a second, maybe less. Eighty. Like barely anything. Any internet in the world should be able to do that. restaurant in the middle of nowhere. Yes, but you're in the UK. A restaurant in the middle of nowhere shouldn't resort to no internet. Middle of North Yorkshire. Can we just leave you there? Just drop you off in the middle of a random field. <laughs> Just plonk. <laughs> Do you know what this track reminds me of? Um, Ridge Racer. It feels like it's very much inspired by Ridge Racer tracks. Um, obviously, it's a Japanese circuit, Japanese game. Duh. But that's what it brings back memories of. And, officially, Ridge Racer 2 is now on uh, PlayStation, by the way. It's on um, PS Plus. But I need to double check and see if it's actually available as, like, a standalone purchase. 
Because if I can buy it, I'm outright buying Ridge Racer 2 on PSP for the PS5. Yeah, this is for Jimmy Kaido. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, mech's in Scotland without the accent. How is this Scotland? I'm in Wales. Wales isn't Scotland without an accent. It's just the UK with a Welsh accent. Same as England is the UK, but with a million different English accents. Scotland is the UK with a Scottish accent. It's like the fucking dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I mean, technically Scotland, Wales, England, they're all pretty similar because we're all on literally the same island. I think it's more because you don't understand English and you can barely speak it, God. <laughs> I think, uh, in terms of, like, understanding, I think Welsh is a lot easier um, to understand than Scottish. Uh, it is a difficult accent to understand if you haven't heard it before, definitely. Um, but then again, there are some English accents that aren't very far from... Like, you go 20 miles in any direction, and I can guarantee you that the accent will be completely different. Like, where where I was from before in Swindon, Swindon's got a fairly neutral English accent. Uh, it's not too strong, it's not too weak, it's not anything like that. It's, it's just normal. Um, you go 40 minutes up the road, you're in Bristol. People would disagree and call you a farmer. Yeah, I know, because if you tell them you're from Wiltshire, They'll think about other places. But Swindon itself is quite mellow. Um, there are other places in Wiltshire where you've they've got like a hardcore Wiltshire in an accent. I think that's the plural of it. But yeah, it's literally known for being a shithole. <laughs> Do you know what I find funny is when... Because um, Russell Howard... I don't know whether... Be he's from Bristol, so I assume that's why he jokes about Swindon a lot. Because Bristol isn't that far. But uh, Russell Howard will constantly make jokes about how shit Swindon is. And it's just the funniest thing ever. It's like, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, I agree with that. I agree with that one. And that. <laughs> and that. <laughs> it's brilliant. But yeah, Swindon is a bit of a shithole. Um, yeah, not much more I can say. But yeah, when it comes to like different accents, you go like 40 minutes up the road, you go to Bristol, their accent is very strong. You've got Scousers, which are very strong accents. Um, I'm trying to think of some other accents that off the top of my head, I can't think of them. But pretty much, you go 30, mile, 30 miles in any direction, and you will find a different accent. Guaranteed. Like, as, as the norm. You'll obviously find different accents everywhere, but... Welcome to Microsoft Support. We have come to understand that you have made purchase of 6969.69. Would you like to purchase a refund? <laughs> you will be arrested. Would you like to be arrested? You bastard. Uh, bastardo. Bing. 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 Alright. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Finished Just Cause 2 yet in 8 years I've had the game. Yeah, I haven't either. 
I've, I haven't had the game that long. I've had it about three years, but I haven't finished it. <laughs> Honestly, the amount of times, like, I used, I, I really think gaming nowadays, because a lot of us have more money, um, like, as we're adults, Kids are still finishing games, but a lot of the times they'll go for the the free options that they can't finish, like Fortnite. Um, that's why I think free to play games should disappear. But um, yeah, when we were kids, like we would buy one game and we could only afford it. We get like one game every three months or something like that, maybe once a month. If you were lucky, or if you are really unlucky, once every six months. The other games that you got, you had to buy yourself. So, any time you were getting a game, you were completing it. You weren't ever going to sit there and be like, Ah, don't like it. Go to the next one. This era of Game Pass, the fact that people can download games and just play them. It, it's good to be able to try them before buying them. But I, I feel like Game Pass, as well as, like... I, I think it is harming the gaming industry. But at the same time, I think it's good for gamers. It, it's a really tough one to decide. I think Fortnite in, in general, free games and stuff like that, is no. You watch an ad and get like an hour of Game Pass for free. Well, that advert pays fuck all. Adverts pay n nothing. Like, when it comes to, like, music streaming stuff. <coughs> like, for example, um, like, YouTube and whatnot, Spotify. Adverts are probably earning more money than the paying subscribers, yes. But... When it comes to Game Pass, I can't see how they'd earn money. Yeah, I suppose the user date is worth a lot. But the thing is, um, when it comes to user data, the US isn't allowed to use kids' data, so I don't see how they'd be able to offer that to anyone unless they were over the age of 13, at which point most people above the age of 16 have money and will be paying for that anyways. So there's only really a three-year bracket where people could potentially get use out of that. I don't see someone with a full-time job going, oh, for fuck's sake. Accidentally press a rewind. Why have you sent fucking nutritional information? Sure. Yeah, I suppose, but it's literally illegal for American companies to have that data so they would they would obviously have to put an age limit on that anyways they, they do for accounts like everywhere like every company pretty much has a 13 plus age limit now because of the copper law I, d I got so into it when the YouTube drama went up about copper and the funny thing is it's not even that bad but a lot of creators were like, oh no, my revenue, oh no. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. It's just a very... I don't know. I just don't see how it, it would be a viable option, because... If they were to do that, the majority of the data that they would have is of 
I, I can guarantee you a majority of their data, or at least 50% of it, would be of under 13s. And that would be illegal to obtain. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Plus as well, wouldn't it be weird to advertise on a product that they've given a free option for to try and advertise people to buy more things so that they can get money? You know, it, it, it seems odd. Like for YouTube and stuff like that, that was a free platform. They advertise for you to buy stuff. Um, you skip it, you watch your video, whatnot. But... I know it's more about the data, but the data gets used a majority of the time in advertising. Or targeting certain things towards people. Which is, is a form of advertising again. In a way. Mm. But then again, it, it, it seems weird that they would be trying to get data of people who literally will not pay for Game Pass to try and get them to spend money on other things. Like, if, if it is. I know it's valuable in that, but it doesn't make 100% sense. It's not like a. Yeah. Data is valuable. Take it back. Gonna take it back. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm someone who really doesn't give two shits about my data because... I'm on a public platform, like, what? It really doesn't bother me. So, I, I don't really pay too much attention into it. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, fuck. Good. Good. I think data protection laws are a little bit too harsh in the moment. Like, I, I understand for certain things, like... Um... Having data protection makes sense, but there are some things that are, like you're trying to apply for jobs. You can't. Most companies are, won't allow you to hand in a CV anymore because of data protection. They're not allowed to do it. I I know, but there's there's so many things where it makes it just more difficult to do things because of data prote protection. like everywhere is like digital CVs only so I can't really go into a shop hand in my C CV so I have to rely on sites like Indeed which if you don't know Indeed is fucking terrible LinkedIn is fucking terrible it's stupid Stupid. <laughs> I've waited here for you. 
Yeah, I suppose. All right, ghost is saving. Very nice. Oh, look. 25G, world traveler. Is that for doing every single race? Let's have a look. Or every single circuit, sorry. Race at every track location in the world. Yeah. Well, it's not every track location, but every one that's in the game. That's pretty cool. Me like. There's still a load more of these to do. Oh, I've got to do season play. Fuck that. <laughs> See, it's the sole reason why I'm not doing 100% achievements. Very nice, though. Very nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.